Guys, have y'all ever seen one of them there store-bought solar heaters? This here is a store-bought solar heater. It's still got the, the tape that was, or that little film that was used to cover the window. It's never been installed. And it's got a flange, mounts to a wall. It can be notched, you know, for like if you've got uh, your lat siding or whatever, you know, your, uh, it can be notched if you have a certain kind of siding. And this is the design of it. Take a look at that. Ain't that kind of cool? That's a strange design, ain't it? Now this is a high temperature glass. It's dirty. The guy had it in his barn sitting in there. It looks like mice got in there. So I've got to drill out, drill out all these rivets up here. There's rivets and rivets and rivets that put this seal together. It's not, it's not airtight, but it has the uh, the sticker that's on the back said this this glass I guess it must be some kind of special uh, or not glass but it's plastic it must be some kind of special plastic because it's got a sticker back there that rates it at uh, um, uh, I think it's 207 degrees Celsius so it can get pretty hot but it looks like there was mice there's a sensor in here for turning on a fan unit and uh, here's a little plug for it here in the back um, you can see how the mice got in it. There's a little squirrel cage blower in it, and there's a, two little units of air blows out of it, and it gets sucked in this big one right here. And it's got a little crack in it. But uh, the guy gave it to me. He just says, hey, man, you want to get that out of my garage or my shop? You want to get that out of my building? You can have it. And I'd say it's about six foot long and about, I don't know, just under, I think it's about 42 inches tall, 46 inches, something like that. And just probably just a little under six feet. And it's made to go through, through a wall. And it's kind of a neat little unit. And uh, he had a receipt for it, it was $84 back when he bought it, seven years ago. And um, when I got it, it already had this broken earpiece on it, but that don't matter to me because I'm actually going to take all this off, shorten it down because um, I've got a different mounting procedure I'm going to use. And it's going to go on this big baby. It is going to be a solar heater unit that goes on this trailer. Now, is it going to go on the sidewall? No, it's going to go up on the roof. Now, this roof is having all of this stuff taken off, vents and all. And it's going to be built up an inch and a half, and that vent's going to come out the side in a little flat tube, square tube that's going to go over the pipe, so it vents it out the side. And then it's going to be an all-rubber roof with Steon panels, 12 of them, 12, 12 135-watt panels on the roof of this 33-foot trailer. So that's going to be pretty nice. And as far as venting, I don't need the vents on the roof. I've got four of them all around the trailer that take care of that kind. They're all the way up at the top, see? So I don't need them stupid roof vents that leak. But this thing here is going to go on top of the trailer in between two of the rows of panels, the two sets of six, and I'll have a, during the winter, uh, summertime, I'll have a, a uh, cover for it that's made out of, uh, have, uh, have a quarter inch foam on it and sheet metal, galvanized sheet metal will be a cover for it. So I'm going to install little clips for it and you slide that on there. It'll be a little clip on it and you just slide the panel on and put a single screw in it and it won't go nowhere uh, even on the highway so that'll keep the sun off of it during the summertime but in the winter time if you notice all of these different angles that the, this thing heats with putting it up on the roof is a brilliant idea and it'll be running on DC instead of an AC cord or AC floor and that'll all be redone down there to have filtration and everything and I think it's going to be something nice all right well Takes you a good look at that baby. It's pretty good size. Pretty good size. And I've got enough room for 12 panels up there and five feet of open space in the dead center. And since there's no AC unit, this trailer has up underneath, it has a spare tire hole. And what I'm doing is I'm taking an 8500 BTU air conditioner, cutting it in half basically putting the condenser unit down underneath down there with a blower on it and up inside the trailer where the heating unit used to be where all the duct work is including two that come up high is going to be the rest of it and it'll blow into the duct work of this trailer 
a 8,000 BTU unit. Now I won't need a big 13.5 unit because this is going to be insulated with inch and a half foam and upgraded a lot. So, including the whole thing has been really, really beefed up. So, that's my big rambler there, and I think uh, I think this is going to be a nice addition to it. Factory made, kind of cool. I just wanted to see what was going to go on that trailer. I have a few of my friends that. Uh, I told them, I said, I picked DS from Steons. So uh, these are the panels. These are 25 in here. These That's two layers of glass, a skip, two layers of glass. And you can see over here, here's a single one. And they're very strong. They're made out of automotive grade windshield glass. They can handle very, very high heat, but they're going to be mounted on a hat metal that's an aluminum hat metal and with clips. So they're going to be very stout. They're going on that trailer. They're not moving and uh, they're not going to come off of it, but um, that is those these big panels, 135 watts a piece. Twelve of these are going on that trailer. Uh, back here behind the car is 15 more of them, and so 40 total, but 12 of these babies, they're going to go on that trailer, so you can just do the math, 12 times 135. That's a lot of juice for a travel trailer, guys. All right, there you go. That's a nice picture, ain't it?